Right, Naveen. Hey, Iran. I wanted to say, I wanted to make a comment about something that Harry Binswanger said on one of the UK objectivist uh, shows, right? Uh, and this was about uh, herd immunity. And it's a, I want to make a side comment with regards to that. What he was saying is, he was pointing out to an article in New York Times or somewhere where somebody was saying vaccines are useless unless people use them, right? And he was pointing out how that's so wrong. And he was saying that va vaccines are useful even to the people who don't take them because the people that do take them are in between the other people that don't take them. So it overall increases the herd immunity, right? Because it prevents people from passing it on. And the other thing he was saying is more importantly than that is you take it, you take the vaccine. Yeah. So you're immune, you're immune. Yep. So don't care about the other, you don't have to care about the people that don't take them, right? So similarly, I want to say with regards to reason, living with re collectivism versus mm -hmm. individualism and reason, right? I think we don't really need to worry about changing the entire culture because we can never do that. As long as we can change a few people, we'll still increase the herd immunity because these people that are living with reason are in between the, all these collectivist people. So it prevents the collectivist agenda from spreading. And way more important than that is you live your life based on reason and live a whole totally selfish life. So you'll have a much more impactful life and don't worry about all the other people that are not living in that way. Yeah, I think that's absolutely right. And, and uh, I mean, I do think we will change the culture. I do think we will get those numbers, but it's not gonna happen quickly. But it, it goes back to one mind at a time. I mean, if I can convince a few people yeah and they can join the conversation, then that is, that is, uh, that is really, they then are better. So my life is better because their life is better because a trader, I want people to be better off. And then they're living their lives for their own sake. They're not living it for mine or for anybody else's. So that's better. And that they are now barriers before the advancement of collectivism, absolutely. And if there are enough of them over a long period of time, we will dominate the culture, right? That, that's how you, indeed, that's how you dominate the culture is you slowly grow and it's slow and it's not always visible and it's not always clear it's happening, but you wake up one morning and then millions of people that have been impacted by what you're doing and the culture starts really pivoting because there is such a thing as herd immunity or the tipping point for our culture or whatever, where things dramatically change. Yes, I agree completely. Right. Thank you. All right. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this, and uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up 
you'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.